Folks, we are gonna do a little bit of shining today. These, um, we used these before on our John Deere Gator. These ceramic trim coat, Cerakote is the brand. Cleaning wipes here, they're kind of pricey, but man, did they do some amazing work on the John Deere Gator. And my 1025, I've had this, boy, I might've had this four years now, maybe. And uh, for a good chunk of that time, we were out at, it was parked outside where we had no storage at a property that we were gonna build on that we did videos there, a lot of them for, what was that? Over a year. And then eventually moved over where we're at now. And we had a lot of this barn renovation going on for a long time. So that tractor sat outside, this tractor, point being this tractor sat outside for two and a half plus years probably. And so I did do a really good detail on it when I first got it and I, actually I know it's been detailed uh, another time too before it went through that whole process. So I guess I would say, look how, look how good this looks for sitting outside for such a long period of time. You can see some fading on the top of the steel here, right on there too, okay? But this is a brand new bracket. For example, that's not OEM, but it is John Deere Green. That's John Deere Green powder, powder coat. And so you can see how, how good the rest of the, the green holds up. I mentioned that because, well, one of the reasons I don't buy a lot of Kubota tractors is the fact that their paint, when they sit outside for a long time, does not hold up. It turns pink, the wheels turn a different shade, the loaders turn a different shade, the cylinders turn a different shade, the hood, the fenders, they all turn different shades of pink to faded orange and they look terrible. So that is one of the things that I really do like about John Deere is how well they hold up. And if you do get one that fades, you can buff these things out and make them shine like brand new again. So we've, we've done that uh, several times over the years. Point being today, we're gonna be touching the black plastic, okay? This is, Chris, show them this here. This is how it kind of just starts to look chalky and gray. I did show them this. You did show them that? We'll show them that again. It looks real chalky and gray there. So we're gonna see what we can do to shine that up. Now that fender over there, I actually got a little inspiration and is like, I'm gonna put this stuff, that Cerakote stuff on this fender. So I put that on there and then about five minutes after that, I was like, you know what? I should probably hose this whole thing off. So this doesn't look very good because I put it on there and then I went outside and hosed the whole thing off. So that's, uh, we're gonna redo this side, but this is, it does have one sort of application of the Cerakote on there versus the other fender that has nothing on it. And uh, you can see the difference. I put a little bit right on here too and all that. So we'll probably re-hit this uh, as well. But let's do it, let's, let's shine this bad boy up and get it looking a little bit better. Step by step, you know, when you wanna do a detail, you can do it all one time, which is, I've done many times, but that is a, uh, that's a big animal to tackle or you can break it up. So I'm wearing some gloves. They come in these packets, these wipes do, and they go pretty far. You, know, you can cover quite a bit with them. Get these on Amazon. These were on Project Farm's channel, all right? I know a lot of you guys watch Project Farm out there. These won his, you know, his test, how he does side-by-side -side comparison tests. These won that little competition there. So what do you want to start on, Chris? You want to do the toolbox? Or you want to do this fender? Faded? No, do, do a fender. Do the fender? All right. We'll do this fender. Start down here. And again, not being my first time using this, this stuff holds up. There's a lot of these black plastic restorers that do not hold up with time. Even a day. Even a day, yeah, it's true. Yeah, we actually did that on the Gator and uh, they just like absorb in and go right back to their natural state. This stuff is totally different. That's the Cerakote or the ceramic part that's in there. It's um, a long lasting, not to say it's gonna last forever, but a long time. If you only have to do it once a year, that's, you know, that's pretty darn good. And you could probably scrub your tractor a bit better than I am because this thing's still a bit dirty. It's a real world test. This is a real world test, that's right. 
And also we'll come back and give a an update after at least 24 hours. I want you to speak up, Chris, aren't you? Well, I'm mic'd up today. Saying we'll come back and give you a look at how it holds up after at least 24 hours, if not 48. Yeah, it's not it's, gonna look shiny black like this, like the liquid. It'll just be a nice deeper, should be a nice deeper, rich black color. No, but that's the, I don't know, call it the trick, is that all of these look just as good when you put it on yeah. because they're wet, but you have to give it time. Yep. Now on that gator, did we put two coats on that? Cause that one was so far gone. I don't think so. Oh, I thought we, or maybe I said I was going to in that video just because of how bad it was. It was nuts. We didn't put two on within the video at least. Okay. I'm surprised it still has, it's got so much like material, liquid, whatever it is still on there. It's been, it seems like soaking it up. Did I miss any spots on this fender? It's hard to say. There was one There's spot nooks there. and crannies everywhere. What's that? There's nooks and crannies everywhere. Yeah, no. I wonder if we have enough to do this uh, toolbox. Maybe we leave the bottom half of this, for example, as untre mm -hmm. untreated. Show a little comparison. I have never actually broken one of these off. I know a lot of guys do, and a lot of guys, for those of you that don't know, you can unbolt these ROPS uh, fixtures on both sides. I think you gotta separate the wiring down there at the, at the plug, break it loose then remount them on the inside. A lot of guys had broken those off. We bought a lot of John Deere tractors that have had these lights broken off as well. You can buy just replacement covers if you don't break the whole structure of it. But if you want to protect them, you can move them to the inside. It's a pretty, pretty nice thing that a lot of guys will do, especially after breaking them the first time. <laughs> they get a new one and mount that on the inside. I wonder if this black will shine up at all i don't know okay that's uh one cleaning pad right there moving on to the second one what are we what are we cleaning now you got a area you want to pick wheel column i have a feeling this is like some sort of different kind of plastic i don't think that that's going to clean up quite as well as uh some of the more porous material Oh, hot. Yeah, maybe hit, touch this up again here. Check 
we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So we were just talking about this. We've got a lot of different kinds of plastic on here. Now we know our Rhino Hide Canopy, get yours at TractorCanopy.com, is made from HDPE, all right? Um, this saw haul bracket looks like it might be as well. I don't know for sure, but I can tell you this canopy has been on the tractor for over two years. This saw haul has been on there for maybe three or more, and they've never been touched up. The mirrors that are on here have been on here for at least a couple. Maybe they might have, they've probably been out here. Actually, they've probably been out here for three, maybe four years, almost the whole time I've had it because. Uh, putting these mirror brackets on was one of the first things I did along with the mirrors. And so all of the black plastic that's on these three things looks better than the plastic that was on the John Deere itself. So um, I'm mentioning that just to mention that, right? So there's certain plastics that are going to hold up better. And whatever the plastics are that are on the deer, the black ones don't hold up that well. The poly resin hood, the green, holds up really well. So, you know, I think black's a tough color in general, but this thing is all it's doing. It's made to protect you from the sun. So it's, it's, it's just getting beat against the sun all the time and it's still looking pretty darn good. And overall, the D, this is a 17? 18. 18, so they're, it's a couple years older maybe than these Yeah, things. but still, I mean, you know, now I've, I've shined this up and, and ceramic this in the past years ago, and that probably helped as well. Um, Still, it's been out in the weather for a long, long time. But we did unintentionally not do some areas, you know, so we can do a comparison longer term as well. You know, we did that uh, light fixture over there and not this one. You know, we, we sprinkle this 1025 hour videos here and there so you'll be able to see how the stuff holds up. Um, and it's already, it's not going to be shiny black. It's still gonna be like a, a matte kind of black color. So don't expect there to be a sheen to it at all. Um, and it's already, you can see even up here, Chris, showing that it's kind of starting to dry out and look a little different. But it looks good, I think. Compare that to all the, the black plastic that's down here towards the floor that we didn't do at all. And it's uh, a big improvement. So anyway, we'll keep you guys posted. I just feel like if you're going to do it, you know, I used to, and we still use it sometimes when we're de detailing tractors. Um, we use Car Guys products. They've got a black plastic detailer that does work well. But man, after I used this stuff on that Gator, I don't think I would ever go back to that because this stuff just worked so well and held its color and held the kind of the treatment of it for just so much longer. It was really impressive. Um, but yeah, so anyway, you can get that on Amazon. We'll put a link down there. I do have an Amazon store, but it's not items that I sell. And so that is kind of confusing. My Amazon store is a collection of items that are sold by other people on Amazon. So they're products that I have used. Uh, they're products that others have recommended to me that they really liked that I've kind of grouped in different categories there and then put on there. So it's just an easy place for you to find, you know, other tractor owners to find products to use on your tractors or use with your tractors. There's tractor tires and wheels that you can buy on there. Cheapest place to get those if you need them for like a 1025 hour Kubota BX, that kind of thing. Seat covers. I've actually taken mine off um, to wash. It's been in my garage and I keep forgetting to take it inside to wash it, but a seat cover you can put on here. Uh, all sorts of stuff, the LED light bulbs that we've done, just a lot of different things. Uh, the the, the, uh, the stake pocket D-rings, those were, man, folks were really loving those when I, when I did a video on those too. So air anyway. Air which we're about to use. The air compressor. Huh? The air compressor, which we're about to use. Air compressor. Yeah, we're going to fill up this uh, front tire. I need to put the, I need to put our, uh, our flat out in here. I got to do this. I got two containers. This tire keeps going flat. I've actually replaced this tire. There may be an issue with the wheel. I'm not sure. But it keeps going flat. I got to put flat out in there. We did that in our, in our Ranger a month ago or so. This, uh, the front tire over here, show them this tire, Chris. 
It's still holding air. Right there. I had to fill that thing up every time I drove it. Went flat in 24 hours after filling it up, but still holding there. <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah, that's doing good. So anyway, say 5% code GWT was flat out on their website. Anyway, we, next video, watch the next video. See that? We're going to put our U-mount leaf blower. We're going to put our VersaForks right here on the front loader take the pallet fork tines off, gonna utilize this two inch receiver. I did some math, I think it's gonna work, where we can mount our blower on the forks, gonna put it on the loader, and then blow the heck out of some leaves. So come back for that video. Well, also you can notice if the plastic looks better in that video too. Yeah, you'll be able to tell how that plastic's looking in the video, we'll take it outside. Hopefully we don't get it uh, too dirty, probably will though blowing leaves and dirt around. Anyway, if you want the, the cleaning products, go to the Amazon store. If you want to get something for your tractor, like the VersaForks, the leaf blower, snow pusher, tiller, grapple, you name it. Well, we sell a ship all over the country every day of the week. We want to make sure you get the right tool, the right size, the right connection to work on your machine. So shoot us an email, give us your tractor making your model, what you're looking for, and we'll get you fixed up. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.